In this video, I'm going to show you how to tie the cleat hitch. The cleat hitch is the way to tie a rope to a cleat on a dock. This is typically used in boating applications where you're tying your boat to a dock. However you do it, big boat, small boat, it's all the same. At the end of the video, I'm going to explain a couple of variations and a very, very important safety point. One of the keys that is, let's pretend your boat is over here, right here on my hand here. When you pull this around, make sure when you first start this hitch to always have the load end come around the opposite stanchion. Do not have it come around the close because it will bind up and you can have a lot of trouble getting this off the cleat. So make sure the line always comes to the opposite side, not the close side. And what you do is you get, make sure you have plenty of line. You wrap it around once here. Okay, so you got a wrap, that's pretty easy. Then you crisscross across the top. You loop under one side of the cleat right here, the horn of the cleat. And then the opposite, what you do is you take this end, you twist once you loop it over the horn and you simply pull it tight it creates this nice x let me zoom in there you go you can see the x here and when your boat is tied there your boat will not come off you'll notice that that's a little bit loose and that's okay that's the traditional way to tie a cleat hitch i show that in my book the most crucial knots to know the result there, how it should look, how you should crisscross. Now, a couple of the important safety points of this knot, especially with big boats, can't emphasize that enough. Some people loop it around a couple times and then hash around and tie it. That's okay. Just do be aware that once this pulls a lot, if you have too many loops on here, it can actually bind up and make it very difficult once this is under load. Let's say my boat's pulling, I come around, sometimes this rope can actually bind up under the cleat. So be mindful, if you wrap this around a couple times, you can actually bind your rope up and make it impossible to release. So that's a big point. But most importantly, with huge boats, you do not want to put the lock on there, and I'll explain why. So you've got your huge boat, your ferry here. You come around, you tie it like this, and then instead of the traditional lock off like we do with small boats, all you're going to do is come around, come around, and come around, and then just let it literally sit there. Now this is with a hawser, this is not with this skinny little line we're talking a rope like the size of your wrist i mean huge huge stuff and the reason is that if there is an emergency and you have this lock engaged here and there's an emergency on the boat if for some reason the boat's tension this gets hooked up and this tightens too much you will not be able to get this lock off which can be extremely dangerous for big boats so instead, what people do on really big boats is you just loop it once or twice, throw it down, and that way, if something goes horribly wrong, there's no locking here. You can loop, 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 release, and then the boat can get away. I cannot emphasize that enough. So on a big boat, never put the lock on like this. Always just put a couple of loops over hit it like that, the hawser will be he heavy enough, no big deal, and it'll be safe. Refer to your Coast Guard manual and whatever instructions your captain uses to make sure that this is tied correctly because this is a critical thing. For basic pleasure craft and boats and all that sort of thing, well, just do this, that locks there, that will hold your boat, it is going nowhere guaranteed. Check it out, crucial nuts to know. Learn how to tie this right and the critical safety point of the cleat hitch. Thanks for watching. Links below.